All right, hello, computer science students. Um, I'm making this quick video here. Sorry for uh, for those of you who are building your device in class. So this is for my hybrid uh, students. Um, and it's about kind of how to make your own sensor. So I got my camera here. Let me kind of show you some of the materials I have. So I've got my micro bit. It's all hooked up here um, to my computer. I've got the alligator clips. <clears throat> I've got some aluminum foil, uh, and I'm going to show you how. Let me put this back on my face here for a second how you can use aluminum foil and these materials to create your own sensor. Let's jump over to uh, make code here real quick. Uh, and there's some basic code we have to set up and it is using actually uh, these pins. So if you go to advanced and go to the pins section here. And if you remember the difference between digital and analog, um, digital is always just a one or a zero and analog can be a reading in between that. So we're actually gonna use uh, digital, okay? <clears throat> we're gonna pull out a digital read we actually need to set up a variable um, and I'm going to call this variable foil okay and we're going to set we're always going to set foil to digital read pin and then what we're going to do is we want to show that number on our micro bit here and we're going to show number and we're just going to show foil okay so it's always going to read whatever's coming out of pin zero and it's going to show that whether that's a one or a zero on or off. Okay. Now let's jump back here and I want to show you what the physical setup is. Whoops for this sensor. Okay. There we go. That's focused. So what I need <clears throat> opening up these alligator clips here and I'm just going to grab a black one and a red one. Oh, they're all tangled up. Come on, black and red. There we go. So I got my black and my red. And I'm going to hook the black up to this pin that says the GND pin. That's going to be upside down. Let me see if I can show you here. To, oh, come on, focus up. Oh, focus for a second. I don't know. Ground over here. And this just has an old program running on it right now. So black's going to go on ground. And red... This is going to go on pin zero. Okay. So then I can take <clears throat> a couple pieces of aluminum foil here. And I can just connect these to my red and my black. Okay. So my red alligator clip is holding that piece of foil. And my black alligator clip is going to hold this piece of foil. Okay. Now. If I jump back over to Chrome here so you can see the program, I'm going to go ahead and download this to my micro bit. And it's downloading. It's going to start sending it in. <clears throat> you can see the micro bit down here. This might take a second. All right, it's been downloaded. So let's go back to my face cam here. Okay, and you can see right now, it's showing zero, okay? These two are disconnected, but I'm gonna leave this right here. Hopefully you can see as I go, if I touch these together, it should complete the circuit and work. Let's see if we lose the foil, what happens? I connect these up. Hmm, interesting. Well, Pin zero might be a little messed up there. That is weird. Does it need to go through the three volts? There we go. That's what it was. I had it connected to the wrong thing. Okay. So it needs to be on zero and then the three V, the three volts, instead of the ground. That was my mistake there. But we're all learning. So, so now if I have my foils here, <clears throat> now you can see there's a zero. As I touch the pieces of foil together, it turns into a one. Touch them together, one. Take them apart, zero. Touch them together, one. Take them apart, zero. So you can see that my micro bit can tell when these are being pushed together. <clears throat> now, for example, if you're doing the, uh, the object being taken out of a box, what if you had two pieces of foil that are pushed together, and then when they're taken apart, oh, it sends a signal to the micro bit. Hmm, interesting. It's almost as if an object was lifted out of there. You could set some sort of an alarm off. What if you had something rigged to the front of a notebook so that when it 
opens up, oh, an alarm can go off. Interesting. Something on a door that can do that, all right? There, there are a lot of possibilities <clears throat> that you can use. And you can see her on this video. When they're touching, it's sending a signal. It's a one. And when they stop touching, it sends that signal right back. It's a zero. It is, can tell you when these pieces of foil are touching, okay? I hope this video has been helpful as you continue to design your project. So far, the designs are looking awesome, so let's keep it up. Remember, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to help out, and let's have a great week. Bye.